Hey, folks, Mad Dog and Merrill here, and I'll tell you what, we are going to, I'm, I'm Mad Dog. Oh, yeah, you know what, I'll be Merrill. How's that today? Sounds good. Mad Dog and Merrill. And we're going to take a little tour of Door County today, Door County, Wisconsin. We'd like to welcome everybody from Minnesota and Wisconsin. Yes, here. hello, everybody. We are excited, and we're going to have an extremely great show. You're exactly right there, sir. Exactly. And Where are we? Why is everything egg? Because we're in Egg Harbor. Door ah, County. Ah, I love so we're in beautiful Egg Harbor. And you know, we'd have been here a little bit sooner, but we got shipwrecked. We did. Well, we're at the Shipwrecked Brew Pub and <laughs> Inn. And uh, we're going to have a great show with you folks today. Now, okay, Egg Harbor. Egg Harbor. Uh, Mid 1800s. All right. Here's a quiz, Merrill. Okay. How did Egg Harbor get its name? Was it because, was it because, this is multiple choice, okay? All right, oh good, I like multiple choices. <laughs> All right, good. Was it because as the settlers came in, they found many seagulls' nests with eggs in them, and they could eat the eggs, and plus they, uh, because they saw the eggs okay. on, the, on, on, the, on, the, on the harbor? All right, that's number one. Number one, or is it because as the first ships came in, and they got into their little boats, and they had a race to see who could get to shore first, and they, to distract the other people, they had a food fight on the way, and they threw eggs at each other. And they had egg on their face. And they had egg on I their gotcha, face. I got you, got That's number two. Or was it because there was a large eagle's nest, and they saw that it was, had young eggs in it? I'm going with number one. Actually, all three would be politically You know correct. I was going to say that, too. <laughs> Doggone it. Hey, today we're going to do some, we're going to have some great fun today. I'm yes. going to do some brine wig, wings. Okay. Not wigs. No, brine wigs? I used to have a brine wig once. We're going to do some nice wings on the grill. Okay. I'm going to do some fondue. Fondue? Fondue and scotch eggs. Scotch, oh, scotch eggs. I love scotch eggs. You know, I'm going to do some uh, beer bread today. All right. Since we're shipwrecked today. Yep. I got uh, some uh, mussels. And even some clams that well, I'm going to do, a little good. beer, a little clams. wine, and then I'm going to do some shrooms. Sounds good. Got hey, you know, I, for shrooms. I'm doing uh, the scotch eggs for the first time, and maybe you can help me. I need to crack the eggs. Yeah, because they're hard boiled. Because they're hard boiled. Grab those eggs there and start cracking on them. Well, they are hard. Well, that's not the way to. Oh, Merrill, you fool. Oh, that guess, one wasn't hard boiled, was it? I guess it? they're not quite hard. Well, we'll be right back with the. Exactly. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Exactly right. I am we'll be back. sorry. Yeah, I'm egg I can sorry, tell you're man. very egg excited sorry. what you did. <laughs> Don't worry, I got oh, paper a powder. hard egg, man. Oh, there, there. there. I can wear that as a toupee. How do I look? Yeah. Pretty good? Pretty huh? good. Kenny Youngman. Hey, how are you? How are you? How about George Burns? Time to grill. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is brought to you by North Star Mohican Casino and Resort, the Minnesota Propane Association, the Beef Councils of Wisconsin and Minnesota, and by Fat Louis Olive Oil. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, we are at the Shipwreck Brew Pub and Inn and great restaurant, and we're with Rich the Brewmaster. Morning there, Rich. Morning, Morning. Morning. Rich. Morning. Morning. Pleased to meet you, sir. Pleased to Good meet, to meet you. you there, young man. Thank no. you for having me. No, Rich, I'll tell you what, take those glasses off a second. You look just like the guy in your caricature. It's a shipwreck. Yeah. Where's That's your it? pipe? <laughs> in the pocket. The in the pocket. Guy. Okay. There you go. Hey, Rich, as brewmaster here, and, and how did you get started? When you were, when you were younger, did you mess around with home brews? I did. Uh, I actually learned to brew out west in Colorado. I've been doing it for about 15 years. And I'm really? um, originally from the Midwest, so brought it back here. And uh, good for you. Well, we've had all your brews, and they're pretty good. Oh, they're good. Brews. I think you keep on making them. You're doing a good job. Don't quit your job. Whatever now, you do. Now, uh, how, how many vat, how many vats do we have that you use back here? We've got six fermenters that we're running. We just added uh, two more to really? up our capacity. Yeah. And, and you're brewing some. Uh, Porter today? No, nope. I'm brewing the IPA today. Oh. It's our hoppiest beer. You can kind of smell it. Yeah, actually. yeah, really. You can you <laughs> walk in there? You can... now, how, how big are those vats, though? They hold about 600 gallons. It's a 15 barrel brew system. Boy, yeah. we'd be full after one of those. We certainly we? would. It's quite a bit. Wow. Now, in front of us, we have uh, four of your select beers. Everything from the uh, Peninsula Porter to the Cherry Wheat uh, to the Bayside Blonde and Captain Copper. Captain's Copper. That's right. And, and, and your favorite? Uh, I like the IPA, to be honest with you. Maybe oh. that's kind of my flavor of the day. But yeah. uh, like I say, coming from out west, I love those big hoppy beers. You know your porter ain't too shabby. Not too that's shabby. my favorite. It's that's all some good, good stuff. stuff. And actually, I had a complete head of hair. When I started, I had that porter, and now look at me. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> well, Rich, thank you so much. We're going to take a little tour in a little bit. And probably at the end of the shoot, we might even uh, have a libation or two. That sounds good. Sounds good. I'll, I'll be waiting you. for thank you. All right, thank you, Kelly, sir. Have a good one. Stir that my pleasure. All right, have a great day. All right. 
Now we're going to get back to business here. We got some grilling to do. and Merrill's We got gonna, some grilling. Merrill's going to make some beer bread. I'm going to make some beer bread today, sir, and it's very simple to do, and I'm going to do it in a cast iron skillet. I'm going to actually make a flat bread today. I'm going to make it flat. And what's nice about beer is that I'm actually using the shipwreck beer here. And what's good, it already has the yeast in it. So this recipe is so easy to do. I've just actually, what I have here is I have one cup of flour, one cup of flour, one cup of flour. I'm gonna put one bottle of beer, shipwreck beer, and I've got the uh, copper ale, I believe, that I have. The whole uh, bottle? The whole bottle. And what actually what you're gonna do with the salt, what I'm gonna do for salt today, I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic salt. You can Sounds use any good. type of salt that you want. Sprinkle that in there. I use about maybe a, a good teaspoon, but that'll give it a nice garlic flavor. Now, as you can tell over here, I've got some uh, fat Louis olive oil right inside of this skillet. And in the, in the ah, skillet the there, yes. And boy, you can smell the garlic yes, too. Yes, you can. And I've got some onions. So I'm gonna just saute these to about really, about 350 degrees is uh, what you're gonna, once you start seeing the onions start to smoke a little yep, bit. caramelize. They're ready to caramelize because you want a nice caramel uh, flavorization on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be stirring this up here. Okay. And I'm gonna make it sort of like a pancake batter is what it's gonna be the consistency Sounds of. Sounds good. And then I'm gonna place that in the kettle. We'll let it go for about 40 minutes, but I've also got a done product too. So while I'm a stirring, sir, I'll let you get going. All right, there. we're gonna do a little fondue. Fondue. Yeah, this is actually a, a neat little stuffed bread recipe. And I've got rye bread right here and a nice serrated knife. And all we're simply gonna do is make several checkerboards about 90% through that loaf of bread. And I've got a couple of done on the grill. And all you're going to do, and I call it fondue because it's got everything you'd want for fondue, only I'm ah. going to have fondue because we're going to have fun with it at the end. You're a genius. And my ingredients today, and you can do anything from sauerkrauts to beef and anything you want. I've actually got Swiss cheese, ham, I've got some uh, uh, green olives. And all we're simply going to do, I'll bet you I opened that up the wrong way. I'm going to put my uh, cut up green onions right there. And all we're simply going to do is I'm going to take and in the side, oh, here, a little bit of, uh, we can do Thousand Island dressing, but I'm going to do a little Ooh. bit of squirt mustard because it seemed easier today. So in all those different scores, I'm going to add the mustard or Thousand Island dressing, whatever you like to do. But real quicker, I'm just going to add some nice little ham inside of all those different scores. And then I'm going to add some nice green olives. You can add black olives if you want to. Merrill's getting me excited over there popping the top. I did, I had to pop another <laughs> little beer. I had a little thick batter there. And uh, some green top onions in the scores. You get the idea. Anything you want. Some grated cheese. That's the fondue portion of it. Grated cheese in the scores. And I'm simply going to wrap that up in aluminum foil. Seal that all up real nice. We're going to put those on the grill, the indirect method of cooking. With our Weber grills, I've got the two outside burners on. I've got nothing on in the middle. And let me just take one of these breads over the side over here. And I'm going to show you a delicious loaf of bread. Look at that. Indirect oh. method of cooking for about a half hour. And the fondue part is you simply pull apart the pieces, and that's how you eat the darn little thing. And I can't oh, resist. Oh, that looks good. Doesn't that look good? Hitch no it. forks, no napkins. And just, to, just, just to show, just to show that. that we got another one done. Look at that baby right there. Isn't that delicious looking? That is gorgeous. He did, he did himself proud today. So, so for gentlemen. Father's Day coming up and the celebrations, uh, we're going to do some nice little hors d'oeuvres. In fact, uh, uh, we got good friends over at Nor uh, Mohican North Star Casino, and it's their 19th year anniversary, 19th year anniversary, and uh, they got some Weber grills, some wonderful Weber grills to give away. Uh, one grill every day in June. One grill every day in June. They're going to give those away till the 19th. On the 18th, you and I are going to be at Mohican North Star Casino and Resort. We're going to be there from noon until 3 o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. Noon to okay. 3 on the 18th. Good. We're going to be sampling up some nice hors d'oeuvres and talking to folks. So stop on by to Mohican North Star Casino and Resort. The whole month of June up until the 19th, they're going to give away a Weber grill a day, and that's phenomenal. A Weber me. grill a day? Yes, sir. Every day? Till, till the 19th. My gosh, it's Let's see great. Done bread. Okay, all right, here we go. Here, I want to show you on this bread here. I made okay. a batter. It's like a pancake batter, okay? Yeah. I've got the onions. I sauteed them down on the bottom on there. Yep. I use one bottle of beer and then one cup of flour. Now, you can do whatever consistency that you want, and I added garlic salt. Yep. That's it. You've already got the sugar. You've already got the yeast and everything in the beer. I'm just going to pour that right in. I'm sorry that I did this at the back of the camera, but I wanted to make sure that I get that all in there. All right. It sort of looks like a big old pancake that isn't cooking. 
And you so let that sit on the top. Now I will cover that. What's great about this grill? I'll get this grill up to 425 degrees. It'll work like a convection oven. Okay. You can circulate around. But here is. Don't touch that handle. <laughs> Don't touch that handle. I'll be really. But this is the finished product. Now what's neat about this flatbread is that you see how that caramelized up on the top oh, that's there? that's beautiful. If you'd like, you could even make a pizza on this, on this Look beer bread. Go ahead and Look put there. your, uh, go ahead and put tomato sauce on there, pizza sauce, whatever, cheese on top. Yeah. Comes out absolutely delicious. Good. You're, you're, you're surprised, aren't you? I want to see you make a pineapple upside down <laughs> cake someday. <laughs> you know, I've never made one of those yet. I've never made, I'll have to try that. Well, I'll tell you what, hors d'oeuvres are the theme today. Yeah, now we're going to be right back and I'm going to do some nice, uh, great little stuff on the grill. We'll decide what to do, either the wings or the uh, scotch eggs. I'm not sure what I'm going to do What next. are you going to do? I'm what not sure. We'll be right back. All right, though. sounds good. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is brought to you in part by Weber Grills. Hey, Merrill, why did the grilled shrimp cross the road? I don't know, Mad Dog. Why did the grilled shrimp cross the road? To get to the Shell Station. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Dog and Merrill's Joke of the Week is brought to you by Mad Dog and Merrill's Signature Spices and Sauces, available at these and other fine retailers. Weber grills and accessories used on today's show are available at Ace, True Value, and Do It Best Hardware stores. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, we are up in beautiful Door County. We're in Egg Harbor. We're at the Shipwreck Brew Pub Inn and Restaurant, and we're with General Manager Joel. Hey, how you doing? Good, good to meet good, you, Joel. Good, good to, to meet see you, you, thank sir. you very much. Yeah, thanks thank for stopping by. And thank you for the kind hospitality. We appreciate yes, it. Yes, the beers are good. The food's good. I love it. This is one of my favorite places. But you know what? I was on the inside, and I felt spirits. And good I good. don't mean spirits like this. I mean spirits. Spirits. Joe, I've drank the spirits on the inside, but I never felt them. Oh, you go on the inside. Joe, really? the, the place feels haunted. What, what's up with the haunted? It is. There's uh, a number of ghosts that are rumored to have taken residence here at Shipwrecked. We've got uh, the old owner's wife, Verna Moore, has been seen walking around the basement, the front entryway. Um, there's a crying baby that's been heard, and even an illegitimate son of Al Capone uh, possibly hung himself here or maybe somebody helped him hang himself. <laughs> I'm getting shivers already, Joe. I'm gonna have to have one of them spirits. I know, plus a few IRS agents. <laughs> yep, down uh, there's there's tunnels that uh, were rumored to have uh, ended up down in Murphy Park about five miles south of here. Really? Um, two IRS agents, revenuers, uh, were never seen again. Really? No, oh. no, and of course, back in the roaring 20s, uh, this place was a hopping place. Al Capone was noted to be here once in a while. Yep. Uh, and. Uh, who knows, maybe the IRS guys were up here looking for him. You never uh -huh. know. Well, they might be what. up here looking for me. <laughs> hey, but I'll tell you what, better yet, uh, and I didn't realize, I, I was a little worried to ask because you have brisket on the menu, smoked brisket, you got pulled pork, uh, half smoked chickens, and I was asking, okay, is that stuff brought in or smoked on house and? Oh, we, we do it right here with a huge smoker out back. Uh, we use cherry wood, yeah. our own signature rubs. Uh, it's real delicious. Good choice. I, I like that. Is. I like that. And, and so the chef comes in, you fire up briskets now and then. You have brisket, pulled, pulled pork sandwiches, mm -hmm. brisket sandwiches. Smoked ribs. Smoked ribs. Oh, oh man, man, they're our favorite. So we have to do the show, can we just go in and eat? Well, I know on the menu, and, 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 and I know you have to get back to, to work, so I appreciate it. Yep. But we're going to do, we're gonna do so some smoked you. chicken wings that you have on your appetizer Delicious. menu. Delicious. All right, yeah, thank you, stuff. sir. All right, real quick, wings on the grill. Quick. And uh, last night, in fact, about... 18 hours ago, I did a beautiful brine. I brined about 25 chicken wings, and here's a great way to do it. Uh, we're going to do a beer brine. Beer is excellent. You need any type of moisture, but beer is wonderful. We're going to use Captain's, Captain Copper's Ale, and I'm going to quickly pour just a little bit of beer over the top of my wings. Okay. Normally, I would do it in a Ziploc baggie. Now, we use sea salt because sea salt actually opens up the pores, lets the moisture and the flavor in. If we use table salt, it would pull moisture out. So always use sea salt. So we they recommend to every bottle a couple tablespoons of sea salt, 
And this normally I'd shake up in a Ziploc baggie, but we just want to show it here today. Okay. I'm going to add some bay leaves in there I did last night. I added some onions for flavor, and we added about five cloves of garlic. Mm. And we're going to let that brine. We're going to put that in the in, in back of the refrigerator where you can't see it. Okay. For about 12 to 18 hours, those wings. And then hide you bring, it, eh? you hide it. Then you bring them out, you pat them dry. And I actually cooked mine on the grill. And I started mine off the indirect method of Ooh. cooking. And I cooked them for about 40 minutes. And then I seared them off at the end. The great thing about the Weber grill we're using today, the Summit, it's got the smoke box on the side. So I got some nice uh, cherry wood appropriately. So smoking away. And Merrill, I'm just going to have you give me a hand. And what they do. Thanks, I'll do it myself. All right, here, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Uh, uh, we, have, we have some of our beautiful uh, smoke and rich, our beautiful hickory barbecue sauce. And right at the end, and this is what they do at the, at the, at the end here, is I'm going to dump all these babies in. Mm. And I'm just going to take, and I'm going to give those just a, a little bit of a swirl. Oh, you did good, don't. We're on, oh, good job. And Meryl's got some wonderful mushrooms to do. Hey, mushrooms, I love mushrooms mm. on the grill. And this is very, very easy to do. As you can see, we've got the mushrooms on the grill here. They're really nice and tender. Uh, and they take about, you can do direct method of cooking, probably eight or nine minutes, but I marinated them. And it, I'll tell you what, it's so easy to marinate. Number one, I'm going to use some fat Louis olive oil. And I believe I have the garlic today. Is that right, sir? Yes, you do, sir. If you could hold that bag on a part of Now, I really do not look at the how much oil I'm putting in. I just want to oil this just a little bit in there. But I'm going to put a good, oh, maybe probably a quarter cup in there. And then also this, a little bit of wine. We have the Door County Blackberry American Merlot wine, which is very good. Got a nice texture to it. I like cooking with a lot of wines. From Door Peninsula Winery. You got it. And Door it's just good. They're good. Half a cup. You don't really have to worry about this, but this is going to add the flavor. All right, shake that up a little bit. Now, here's the secret, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls of all ages, brown sugar. It looks like a lot of brown sugar. I put a lot of brown sugar in there. You do it to taste. Now, sit that in the refrigerator. Oh, you can, I usually will do it like a couple hours ahead of time on there, and then just go ahead and throw it right on the grates of the grill five to six minutes on each side. I'll tell you what, they're absolutely great. They are Nice delicious. and moist, and I just, I love them. And if you're gonna get them, get a whole bunch. I mean, get six pounds, could you go through them? Okay, here we mm. are. It, it, it's beautiful Door County. The Harbor Lady is located in Sturgeon Bay, Door County, Wisconsin, and it, it docks at the Stone Harbor Resort. And the Harbor Lady can carry up to like 149 passengers. It's got uh, climate control uh, inside saloons uh, that you can have a refreshment or two with three open decks up above uh, full bar it's handicap accessible now you can join mad dog and merrill you can join us on sunday july 17th at 7 p.m aboard the harbor lady for hors d'oeuvres and have a great day uh, enjoy beautiful sunset over the bay of green bay sign up at harbor lady excuse me harborlady.com harborlady.com or you can call 920 707 lady 920 707 5239 limited seating is available that's july 17th it's going to be a great time merrill and i are going to be there Hooting. oh what a lover oh I'm just the... call hey lady hey it'll be great lady. it'll be a good time hey lady i'm looking forward Harbor to it harborlady.com give them a holler we'll be right back mad dog and merrill's midwest grilling is brought to you in part by fat louis olive oil Old friends and new faces come together when you visit Door Peninsula Winery. Tour the 1868 Schoolhouse Winery. Taste from an extensive selection and enjoy the layers of flavor with the pairings from our own Bistro 42 restaurant. You'll find locally grown Door County fruits and premium grapes to enhance your experience when in the tasting room. Door Peninsula is Door County's original winery and brings Door County to your glass. Visit and enjoy all the offerings of Door Peninsula Winery. It's time for the beef tip of the week, and I'll tell you what, beef is one powerful protein, and there are more than 29 cuts of beef that meet government guidelines for lean. I mean, the American Heart Association and the American Diabetic Association recommend lean meat as part of a healthy diet. I mean, and why wouldn't you? Ten essential nutrients, we've got zinc, we've got iron, we've got protein and B vitamins. It's delicious. Now today, I've got some great 95% lean ground beef on the grill. And my favorite way to do the leaner cuts of meat, like the ground beef here, is I'll sear it up a little bit and then turn the burners off underneath and the outside burners are on for the source of heat. 
you put the hood down and you treat those individual little burgers like little roasts so they turn out nice and moist and tender. And they do. And they really do. Beeftips.com. Beeftips.com. Go to that website, check it out for more information. Each night, billions of stars paint the sky, but one star shines brighter than all the rest. Introducing a destination unlike anything the Northwoods has seen before. More spacious, luxurious, and action-packed than ever. A place filled with incredible amenities and endless good times, where you can come to play all day and stay all night. Discover North Star Mohican Casino Resort. There's only one North Star. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by North Star Mohican Casino and Resort. Well, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's uh, Midwest Grillin'. I'll tell you what, it's a, it's a great day here at Shipwreck. And uh, anytime you're shipwrecked, it's a great day, let me tell you yeah, that. Yeah, especially if you end up here. That's exactly right. Hey, don't forget, quick little mention, our good friends at North Star Mohican Casino and Resort, North Star Mohican Casino and Resort, uh, in the month of June, the 1st through the 19th, they're going to give away a grill a day. That's amazing. A Genesis 310, the 1st until the 19th, and on the 18th of June, from noon to 3, you and I are going to be there in, in honor of their anniversary, their 19th year anniversary. Uh, we're going to do some nice little scotch eggs right now. All right, sounds good. Father's Day is coming up. What a great opportunity. Uh, you know, Dad and Moms both love to grill, so what a great opportunity for accessories, uh, like the nice little racks that we have here for putting vegetables and stir-frying on from Weber Grills. Uh, if Dad's into the charcoal business, here's a great little starter for him right there. Uh, this is new this year, and I just love this baby. I can't go. wait to I can't wait to pull it out of the box and use that. I know it's a good one for Father's Day. Uh, I, I love that. The nice I love that. But we're gonna do some Scotch eggs right now, and and I tried a couple different ways, and, and I'm I'm new to the Scotch egg business. Are you? But it, but it, what you got to do is this: if you, if you fall off your bicycle, you got to get back on. You got to try it. And, and so this is my first time. I'm doing it in front That's of like... That's okay. You're doing all right. I'm There's doing like people out there. Thousands Just of people. Hundreds of thousands. thousands Don't you of worry. People. You're doing okay, buddy. Seasoned pork sausage. I all added right. a, a raw egg to it, and I also added some breadcrumbs. And all you simply do is take a hard-boiled egg, and this is... Meryl does scotch eggs once in a while. And the pork sausage, take the hard-boiled egg, and all you simply do is wrap it around. Now, this is meant to be then breaded and deep-fried. Right. But not us. Not us, because we're ooh, grillologists. Ooh. So we're going to take our pork sausage, we're going to wrap it around the egg, hard-boiled egg. I'm going to put them on the grill, indirect method of cooking, for about 35, 40 minutes or so. And, and let me show you these babies right here. There oh, is you a, did a great job yeah, on that. those. Isn't that great? They are, oh, if you folks have never had scotch eggs, it'd go good with a shipwreck porter, too. Trust me. Look at that baby right there. So there's the scotch egg on the inside, and I found out that all you have to do is, I'm gonna take a little bit of mayo and add some habanero uh, uh, mustard to it, and that's my tiger sauce. Boy. So, oh. so scotch eggs on the grill, don't be afraid to try new no, things. That's no, the key thing. No, that is just beautiful. Isn't it, I'm though? very proud of you. You did Thank very good you. today. All right, okay. You need muscles. You know, that's one thing I like about Door County. You just go down to the shore, get your muscles, and <laughs> no, you can't get really fresh muscles around here in the Midwest. So what do I do? I don't want all my friends out east to ridicule me, but I go with the frozen muscles, They're okay? All right. yep. Get them in the freezer department. I went ahead and broke them up. I went ahead and placed them in a, in a pan right here, All cast right. iron skillet. We've got some going over there, but this is what I'm going to use. These are already flavored. They already got some garlic on it, so I'm not going to add any garlic, but I'm going to use their porter beer. I love their porter beer. Shipwreck porter? Yep. And what's great about these, these are actually already pre-cooked. Most of people will say, oh, I'll go six or seven minutes, okay? Well, this is the Midwest. I like going 12, even 15 minutes. They want the flavor and everything in there. Also, I've got some corn. I've got some corn. I don't have corn. Nope. I got carrots, some celery, some onions, some parsley, and some peppers. All right, all I'm gonna do is completely add that completely right in there. Stir that around. Let that sit for a good 12, 13 minutes. That's add a stick add some of butter. Great flavor. A to great that. flavor. And speaking of some flavor, I've got some done over there. Let me show Which you. Which I give you an idea. These are Woo! just really, really good. Look at those babies there. I'm going to pour these on this right. platter. There is a platter of mussels, and, and Meryl's absolutely right. You want to cook them not just for 10, 15 minutes. No. You, you, want to, you want to cook them up for a nice long time. 
And if those oh. if those babies don't pop open, don't eat them. No, you'll get a belly ache. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. See how they pop open like this? Wait, let They're me just see. just absolutely great. These are, oh, I'll tell you what, if you have a porter, you're all set with this. Hey, you, again. you know, mm. here, here's something exciting right here. Uh, uh, Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling Cookbook, uh, brand new spiral bound, 130 page cookbook available at maddogandmerrill.com, maddogandmerrill.com. Also, we have our own cedar plank, so you can do salmon, you can do catfish, uh, cedar plank, uh, 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 scotch eggs. You got the scotch eggs recipes in there, too. And Very most good. of the recipes we did today, actually, are in this they cookbook. They are. The They're mussels in there. are in there. The wings are in the cookbook. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Cooking. And also, you can get online at maddogandmerrill.com our signature sauces and spices. Great Father Day gift. Besides all the great Weber products we're doing today, well, I'll tell you what, Merrill. I want to. I want to. We want to wrap things up. Okay. Uh, and so we can get our muscles eat. I know. I'm gonna. I so can't we'll, be right we'll be right back. We'll be right back, folks. I know. Are great. Quit eating them all, for goodness sakes. People Mine just. Too. You know, I don't like that. Oh! 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 my God! Oh, you boy. actually look pretty good. Oh, really? Thanks. <laughs> Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by the Minnesota Propane Association. Well, I'll tell you what, Merrill and I love grilling with propane grills, but the number one problem people have is with fires, with flare-ups on their gas right. grill. You got to clean that grill out. You got to clean that grill. Now, how yep. many folks do have problems with flare-ups out oh, there? Oh, look man, at them. I'll All right. tell you. This is what you want to do. We've talked about preheating your grill first Absolutely. on high for yep. five minutes, the Grillers High Five. Yep. Well, anyway, after you preheat your grill, shut the grill completely off. Yep. Take your top grate off that grill. Take all the insides out of that grill. And on the bottom of that grill? It's kind of cruddy down there. You got, you got hot dogs, chicken wings, has beans, yeah. something we affectionately call the UFOs. The UFOs? The unidentified fried objects. They're down there. Yes. So take some paper towel and yep. some rags or whatever, but get rid of all the grease and the junk and everything down the bottom of the exactly grill. Exactly right. Then replace the inside of your grill. Put your top grate back on, then you got a good clean grill. Yep, and all you want to do then is turn your propane back on, fire it up, make sure it stays clean from there on in, and you got yourself some happy grilling. Hey, happy propane grilling, folks. Happy grilling, everybody. Did you know Montmorency red tart cherries are known as the top superfruit and grow right here in Northeast Wisconsin? Cherry Delight dried cherries capture all the nutrition and the delicious flavor that these amazing cherries are so well known for. Come sample our superb products including the original Door County dried cherry, Cherry Delight, chocolate covered cherries, our amazing cherry juice drink, and so much more. Country oven products are perfect for a tasty treat, baking, and year-round gifts. Just 30 minutes from Green Bank, Country Ovens is an essential stop when visiting Door County. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Golden Plum Chicken. Well, we had a great time here today. Father's Day weekend is coming up, and the summer is upon us. And uh, what a great time we had in, oh, in Egg Harbor. I loved it. Absolutely yep. good time and good food, too. And Merrill, uh, could you call my wife and tell her I got shipwrecked? I'll tell her. I'll call her that. <laughs> I want to like have six of those. I'll call your wife and tell you her, you've been shipwrecked. Sounds like a plan. Have a good one, folks. We'll see you. Take care. <laughs> Weber grills and accessories used on today's show are available at Ace, True Value, and Do It Best Hardware stores. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro. For video production and marketing communication needs, go to lashbro.com. For recipes, tips, tricks, and techniques, go to maddogandmerrill.com. Tune in every Sunday at 9.30 on this CW station for Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin'.